everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video this morning. I hope you're doing great and we're going to be looking at the latest for Tammy. So it is going to maybe become a hurricane in the vicinity of the Leeward Islands. There are all those watches, those warnings and uh, impacts will start later today. So persons making those final preps should uh, finish as soon as possible and get ready to hunker down for the storm. But then we see over in the Southwest Caribbean there's that highlighted area. So we'll be talking about that as well. And then over in the Pacific there is still major hurricane Norma. So that is going to be bringing impacts to portions of Mexico. There's a hurricane warning in effect, tropical storm watch for some areas as well. So we'll also be taking a look at that. So let's get straight into it. And so we're kickstarting things looking at the vicinity of the Caribbean. We'll also talk about the rainfall activity expected through today. Then we'll hop to that disturbance and go on to uh, the main talk of the video, which is Tammy. And so right now in the Caribbean, it's looking quite messy, especially over in the western part of the basin. A couple of thunderstorms popping up across some areas, maybe some dense cloud cover with some rainfall activity, maybe some heavy downpours at times, or maybe it's just intermittent for you. But uh, that is the kind of activity we're seeing across sections of the western Caribbean through to Central America. And uh, there was that stationary front. Now there's just a surface trough extended into the area, but that will help to enhance the rainfall activity for today. Going down to the vicinity of northern south america looking to colombia there you can see a lot going on down there so there has been a lot of activity within the area much not happening for jamaica and eastern cuba and across much of the bahamas there's and Caicos islands española going to the abc islands puerto rico right now near the virgin islands earlier today near st croix there was some thunderstorm activity and uh, over into the lesser antilles maybe some intermittent showers here and there uh, as tammy approaches but for now there isn't anything too major going on. Similar story as we head down to Trinidad and Tobago. So let's head on to this map and as it becomes more colorful a lot more rainfall activity is expected. So as we look at South Florida going to the Keys, most of the Bahamas, even the Turks and Caicos Islands as well, Western Cuba, Grand Cayman down through Central America, Honduras El Salvador, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama and through to Northern South America, Colombia, Venezuela parts of Guyana. There could be some periods of very heavy rainfall across some parts of these various areas so there could be uh, even some cases of flooding taking place as a result of all the heavy rainfall expected and then as we head to Trinidad Tobago there could be some showers thunderstorms popping up across the island Grenada parts of the Grenadines won't be experiencing a whole lot uh, from Tammy going to the ABC Islands by the way we're seeing that a whole lot is not expected there either maybe a passing shower or so at the most hopefully because I know that you guys have been wanting some rainfall activity for some time now and that hasn't been happening and as we head to Barbados, going to St. Lucia, all the way north through to Anguilla. So every island in between likely to experience some uh, rainfall activity as we head through today. Maybe it won't be the case for every single place, nor will every area experience heavy downpours. But again, those tropical storm conditions will begin for some areas later today. As we head to the Virgin Islands and for sections of Puerto Rico, there could also be quite a bit of rainfall activity across some spots. And then headed to Hispaniola, eastern Cuba. Little Cayman, Cayman Brack, and Jamaica as well. Maybe some heavy downpours at times, but uh, we can see that the chance gets a little bit lower compared to some surrounding areas. So that is what is expected in terms of rainfall through today. Now let's go ahead and move on to this area. So we can see that the South Caribbean is highlighted for potential development over the next seven days. So this area was marked last evening. We can see that there's a 20% chance of something trying to form as we're going to be heading into the next seven days. So this weekend, an area of low pressure could develop within this region, and it may loiter around for a bit and try to get itself together before moving into Central America. So this is not expected to move up to the north or northeast or northwest, so it is likely to make its way to the west through to portions of Central America. So as a result, there could be quite a bit of rainfall activity for the Central American territories with that low pressure area forming in the uh, South Caribbean. So that might be a rainmaker as we head into 
to the next several days. So definitely we'll be watching for that. Models have been hinting towards seeing something develop in the Caribbean, maybe even multiple systems out there. So I will definitely have to continue to keep our eyes on the tropics. The activity is not letting up just yet. It eventually will, but I mean, we're seeing that we have Tammy. There's this new area and models have been hinting at seeing a formation all over the place. So of course, I'm not talking much about the long term because there's an active system. There's an imminent threat to the Lesser Antilles. Now let's head on to Tammy. And here we are taking a look at it on the satellite imagery. We can definitely see that it is not the most organized system, but it is producing quite a bit of activity. I mean, it is a strong tropical storm right now. And so let us head on to the National Hurricane Center's cone forecast. And here we can see that uh, there isn't a huge change with the system. I mean, this track has shifted a little bit to the east, but still, this is to track its center and not the size of it. So if we're talking about the center even being offshore, once we have a symmetrical storm and the western side is producing a lot of activity, then those impacts will be there. So as of the latest update this morning, maximum sustained winds are up to 60 miles miles per hour and Tammy is moving to the west northwest at 8 miles per hour so it has been moving slower and slower because this time yesterday I believe it was 17 miles per hour so it has significantly slowed in its acceleration but uh, there we see that shade in that mustard shade in that is representative of the tropical storm force wind field so this is not completely symmetrical matter of fact the storm is dealing with a bit of shear but uh, it is trying to get itself together however we see all these watches and warnings in place and so highlighted in pink is a hurricane watch that is in effect for guadeloupe antigua and barbuda montserrat st kitts and nevis anguilla st martin and St. Bartholomew. And then a uh, tropical storm warning that is in blue, that is in effect for these same areas, including Dominica. So Dominica going to Guadeloupe, Antigua and Barbuda, Montserrat, St. Kitts and Nevis, Anguilla, St. Martin, and St. Bartholomew. And then uh, a tropical storm watch that is in yellow, that is in effect for Barbados, Martinique, Seba, and St. Eustatius. So there will be a lot of that heavy rainfall, which may trigger some really serious, some major uh, flooding across some areas, uh, especially for the Leeward Islands, where the most rainfall activity is expected off Tammy. So in some areas, there could be instances up to 12 inches of rainfall in total. So a lot of heavy rainfall is on the horizon. As I'm actually recording this, there is an update from the National Hurricane Center. So the government of the Netherlands has upgraded the tropical storm watch for Seba and St. Eustatius to a tropical storm warning. So there we go. So, tropical storm warning in effect for Seba and St. Eustatia. So, tropical storm conditions are expected as we're going to be heading into tomorrow, guys. As I was saying about the rainfall activity, that is likely to unleash some significant flooding. So, uh, if you live in anywhere that floods very, very easily whenever it rains, it is best uh, to try to relocate as best as you can. I mean, the system is closing in ever so slowly right now, but uh, it is best to ensure that you're in a safe location and and uh, hopefully preparations are almost finished for you because I mean uh, there isn't a whole lot of time left so that window of opportunity is closing and so let's quickly go on to some model data as we look at the track guidance here we can see that the majority of these tracks definitely take the system into the leeward islands some of them go off in different directions afterwards, but uh, we can see that the bulk expects that turn up to the north and then the northeast with the system moving out, uh, which is basically what is reflected right now on the National Hurricane Center's outlook, uh, or the cone forecast rather, and then going on to intensity guidance. There we can see that some uh, most of these models are expecting that it will eventually become a hurricane. Uh, some want to show Cat 2, a couple want to show Cat 3, and Cat 3, 4, or 5, that's major hurricane territory. So we'll see what happens with it. I don't think it will be stronger than a cat one at least. We'll have to wait and see what eventually happens but regardless of the intensity it is going to be bringing those dangerous impacts and even those very rough seas as well there could even be some storm surge for those immediate coastal areas so a lot is going to be unleashed between later today and uh, through to Sunday and then uh, now let's go ahead and talk quickly about Norma over in the eastern Pacific so Norma is still a major hurricane right at that borderline. It has been weakening so as I mentioned yesterday that 
texture would increase and eventually result in weakening of the system as of right now those sustained winds are 115 miles per hour at the maximum and it is making its way to the north northwest at 7 miles per hour so uh, we're seeing that there are some watches and warnings in effect so for right now there is a hurricane warning which is in red that is in effect for the baja california sur from todos santos to los mariles a tropical storm warning is in blue in effect for north of los mariles to la paz and then north of todos santos to santa fe then a tropical storm watch in effect for las islas maria so those dangerous conditions again that storm surge with the heavy rainfall those strong winds those tropical storm force winds will be possible even hurricane force winds for those areas under that hurricane warning so those impacts are likely as we're going to be heading into late this weekend headed into saturday evening going to sunday and even through to monday but eventually as the system crosses inland into mexico we can see that it is going to likely be a tropical storm at the time and dissipates quickly uh, because it is going to be cut off from a source of fuel and energy but all that moisture will move in and increase that flood threat for some areas so that is what is expected of norma and then of course over in the atlantic again we've got tammy those dangerous impacts will be unleashed so stay tuned for my next updates coming later today uh to let you guys know what is happening as the system closes in so that is pretty much it for right now and i hope you found this video to be quite informative however if you have any questions as always please leave them in the comments i'll respond to you once i get the chance to do so and you can also share your thoughts there so that's it for now guys and remember to always be weatherwise